What is up on Family Tigal? It's Monday morning here and I wanted to go live with you guys to chat about some thoughts I had over the weekend. You got to hear in my, in my home office. And, you know, I've been having some conversations with people. You know, they've been sending me messages on Facebook or sending me emails. And I want to make sure that you guys realize something. Now, the title of this video is You Are Not That Important. And I say that because I want I want everybody who's watching to realize something. I'm not that important. You're not that important. And what I mean by that is so many pawnbrokers aren't taking this time to plan because they're open seven days a week and they're open nine to eight and the, the regular hours are still on. And the truth is, this is the time to plan. And if you're watching me, let me know, write a, write a comment so I know you can hear me uh, and see me okay. But, you know, I, I was in a conversation with a mastermind member this morning uh, who shut down for, for a little bit. And, and we were talking about the decision to shut down. Was it right or was it wrong? And it was reminding me a couple of stories. I want to share those with you guys today. So first one is here in San Diego, there is a... There's a uh, barbecue place called Phil's Barbecue, which every December, which is the busiest time for restaurants and retail stores and all those types of things, they shut down for 30 days. Like, we're done. We shut down. They give their team some time off, and then they just start back up January 2nd and ramp back up. Then I think about, like, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A closes on Sundays, and people thought, man, Chick-fil-A, you're insane. You're fast food. How can you close on Sundays? And the owner said, I want my you know, people to go to church. And now Chick-fil-A makes more money per store than any other uh, fast food place. Now, why am I sharing this with you? I'm giving you full permission to close for one day or two and to figure stuff out. It's okay as long as you communicate it to your clients. It's okay as long as you communicate it to your team as to why you're doing what you're doing. What's not okay is to keep going through this, plowing through this, thinking like it's just another day and that there isn't going to be consequences if you don't plan. Now, what do I mean by this, right? Again, the title is, you are not that important. There's an identity or an ego to being a pawnbroker. It's why years ago when I heard about uh, somebody who wanted to sell their stores and somebody came in to buy, and they, they gave them the price and they said, well, what are you going to do with it? And this person said, well, we're going to grow it in five years and we're going to sell it for more money. And this person said like, oh, I can do that. Yeah, that's not what happened. You see, the identity that you have as a pawnbroker is so instilled within you that taking some time off is hard. That maybe shutting down one weekend to give your team a break, to, to, to clean the store even better, to plan on what you can do so that your customers feel safer, you're not doing. And the truth is all you're doing is more harm than good. Now, I'm not talking about the virus, right? I'm talking about to your business. If you take that moment to close a Saturday or Sunday, if you take that moment to maybe say, you know what, Thursday I'm going to only go from 10 to 3. Then after 3, we're going to plan, we're going to you know clean, we're going to organize, we're going to do something. It's okay. So I'm giving you full permission. Full permission. You're not going to lose steam because your community knows why you're doing it. This isn't like something that's just happening to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that's happening to the world, right? Let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me in the comments. would love to hear your opinion on this. Um, if you feel like you've wanted to close for a day or two and plan, but you haven't pulled the trigger, let me know in the, in the comments as well. It would be uh, would really love to, to find out what you guys are thinking. But I just wanted people, I just wanted to give people permission because so many times people are asking in these chats, like, hey, are you closing? Hey, are you doing some? Hey, what are, what are you guys thinking? Hey, don't care what other people are doing. 
Do what feels right for you. Do what is going to allow you to put your head on the pillow at night and sleep better at night. Do what's best for your team. Do what's best for your family. And the decision that you make, that's the decision that you make. And that's it. Right? So Manny says, Trigo was pulled yesterday, Manny. Let me know what you guys did. Just curious as to what, what you did with that. But I want you guys to understand it's okay. You don't have to chug full force because guess what's going to happen? When this thing blows over and people need money, you're going to get hit with so many people in your stores that if you're not organized, if you're not prepared, you will get overwhelmed. There'll be more anxiety. Your team will quit and your competition will win. That's what's going to happen. People in, in the different consultants are saying it's going to be a, a crazy amount of pawns coming in. Yeah, yeah, of course that's going to happen. We all know that. But what I'm telling you is that if you're not preparing now, if you're not planning, if you're not taking some time off to figure stuff out, employee manuals, processes, strategies, you know, it's going to destroy you and your team in the long run. So you can either, either play the short game now or you can play the long game. And I'm much more about playing the long game. Much more about playing the long game. Maybe you'll make a few bucks today. Yeah, that's fine. And again, I'm not saying to, to close permanently or not. That's not what this conversation is about. This conversation is about take a couple of days off and plan what's going to happen. Look at the world around you and see how things are progressing and make decisions that way. But if you don't do that, you cannot, you know, th think about it. It's impossible. Think about how your marriage is going to work these days. Relationships with your kids, with your communities, like all that type of stuff needs to be thought of, right? And Evan says, you know, preaching all sports franchises are using this to level the playing field. Yeah, 100%. Guess what sports franchises are doing, Evan? They're getting on Zoom calls, they're training, coaches, mindset. The players are still in the gym. They're working out. A player is not sitting at home drinking a beer, getting fat. That's not what he's doing or her, they're practicing. I've seen uh, like Spartan race guys build like mini Spartan races in their backyard. To be able to train for what's to come, to be able to prepare for what's to come and not sit there, be lazy, right? This is the time to train. This is the time to up your process, your procedures, your manuals, your leadership. This is the time to, to read a new book, to join the mastermind. This is the time to absorb as much information as possible and not run your store to the ground opening more hours. Because people don't need you open more hours. And that's the truth. People might need you open, yes. But they don't need you open more hours. You don't need to extend your hours to help the community. Most of the community is sitting at home. Most of the community is watching Netflix and you're busting your ass opening more hours. We're here for you. We're here for the community. Yes, be there for the community. But be there for yourself first. Be there for your family first. Be there for your team first. That's who you need to be there for first. Above and beyond your community. And I say this with so much passion because I'm tired of, you know, seeing this written on all these, you know, chats and Facebook groups everywhere. Because you're forgetting about yourselves because you're afraid of losing your identity as a pawnbroker. Just because you closed down for two days, just because you closed down, you know, if you were from nine to seven, you do from 10 to five, it doesn't make you a worse person. It doesn't make you a worse pawnbroker. It doesn't make you a worse leader. If anything, it's the opposite. It makes you a better leader for realizing what your team and your community and your family needs. Above and beyond what your community needs. Ladies and gentlemen, enough is enough. I'm tired of hearing this shit. Sorry. I know you keep pushing because you want to make more money. That's fine. I love money. We should love money. But at the same time, you can't burn the candle at both ends. 
You can't do it. There's so much going on in the world. If you're not going to take care of yourself, you're just being an ass to your family. Pawns have decreased. Pickups have increased. The flow of people walking to your store has increased, yet you're working harder and not smarter. So if you agree with me, just write yes in the chat so I know that I'm not talking out of my behind. But uh, I'm just very, very frustrated at the moment. I'm frustrated at the fact that people aren't learning more. People, you know, aren't meeting with their teams and and figuring stuff out. They're just looking at like, how do I make the dollar today? How do I make how do I make more loans today? You know, I've been screaming from the top of my lungs for two years since I started the podcast. I said. You got to learn how to go online. You've got to work on SEO. And people said, "Oh, I, I don't know if I want to pay for that. I can't. I can't. I can't invest in that right now." This is what we were preparing for. Not obviously this shutdown craziness that's going on, but we were preparing for business shifting and pivoting and becoming something else, becoming something new. And if you sit on both your hands, like many of you have, I'm sorry to say it, it's just going to get worse. And you're going to wait there for, for you know, this uh, this hurricane of, of more pawns to come in. And you're going to get so overwhelmed and your business is going to be broken that you're not going to be able to serve the clients. Tag somebody who needs to hear this. Share this with people. I don't care. Do what you got to do. But enough is enough. Take a breath. Take a break. You've been work- Some of you have been working for 30 years nonstop. Some of you haven't even seen your family through this. Some of you, some of your team hasn't been, I mean, think about this, right? Think about this clearly. If I was working at a pawn shop and my family was home, yes, I'm going to be away from my family and it's going to keep me sane. I'll give you that, 100%. But I'm still worried. I'm still worried. And some of you might think this is not as, as uh, you know, big of a deal that it is, and that's fine. I don't, you know, I'm not here to judge your, what you believe or what you don't believe, but it's not, doesn't matter what you believe. It's a consensus of your team. And uh, I don't want to rant too much, but just stop it. I mean, we're fighting because we're an essential business, and I understand that, and I love it, and I understand the needs of the community, but you don't need to work to the bone during this time. You've got to learn how to sell online during this time. That's what you got to do. You've got to learn how to be a better leader during this time. That's what you got to do. You have learned. You have to learn how to communicate more clearly. That's what you got to do. But not open more hours and open more days and... That's not what you got to do. You got to work smarter, not harder. You know, pawn shops are clo- are going to close after this. A lot of pawn shops are going to close because they were ignorant to, f- to thinking that business was going to continue for the next 50 years the way it was for the last 50. And pawn shops are going to close because they weren't building better cultures. And pawn shops are going to close because they didn't learn how to sell online. And pawn shops were going to close because they weren't strategizing and there was no processes in place. And none of that was going on. And pawn shops are going to close because they had their head shoved so far up their ass that to pull it out just a little bit right now is even harder than ever. I usually don't use bad words or cuss on on my Facebook lives, but I'm tired. I'm I'm done. Because so many people are pulling out instead of... You're not learning. You're not, you know, investing in your team. You're cowering away and 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 you're not facing forward and saying, we got this. Let's go. Let's move forward. So many of you are 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 still with your 
the blinders on, the horse blinders on to not invest. I can't invest money right now. Yet you look at your store and there's hundreds of thousands of dollars of merchandise, which when we were screaming about inventory turn and move your merchandise and melt that gold that's been sitting, like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, but I'm tired of it. I'm sick and tired of this crap. I'm tired of it. This is the time to invest in yourself, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time to learn, to sit and read a freaking book if you've never been a reader. This is the time to take a course if you've never taken a course. This is the time to, to say, you know what? Man, I need to invest in myself and my team. Learn how to use technology. This is the time to call your software company and say, like, what do you have that I, I was an idiot for not signing up for before? and getting on the ball so I can do what I need to do to make this happen. Because the days are over of the pawnbroker who is stingy. The days are over for the pawnbroker who has the, the, the mindset of, I, I've got to hold it all, I've got to hold it all. And the pawnbrokers who are going to win are those who have the abundance mindset. Jesse says, I was so ready for this. That you were crushing it online before, brother. I know it. The days are over, ladies and gentlemen, of not having a great culture. I'm sorry. We're a thousand, thousands of year old business, but the days are over. And if you want to be in a business that right now has some of the most growth potential in any industry in the world, Get your head out of your ass, invest in yourself and your team, and do something about it. Get your head out of your ass, go to, you know, take a marketing, do something. I, I, I mean, I believe that the masterminds are the best things out there right now. Invest in yourself. And if it's not in the mastermind, invest in something else. But get your head out of your ass, please. Out of your buttocks for those who will get offended a little bit. This isn't the time to be offended. This is the time to get stuff done. And the pawn shops who shut down, because there's going to be a lot of them, like Jet says, they make all of us look bad. That's right. That's what's going to happen. The pawn industry is going to go from 12,000 stores to like six or seven. I don't know what's going to happen. It's just craziness. People are going to throw in the towel. And if you think that you're going to rake in all the money because they're shutting down, you are very wrong. Because some smart kid's going to open up a pawn shop and whoop your ass and leadership and marketing and strategy is going to whoop you. Because they've been studying this. They've been learning this. They've been diving deep into this stuff. And you've been saying like, no, I don't, I don't need that. Oh, it's it's too much money to invest in myself. It's it's too much money to to invest in marketing. It's too much money to, to become a better leader. It's too much... It's too much. It's too. Everything is too much in this industry. And I see this because I was a pawnbroker for 16 years and I'm a third generation pawnbroker. But everything is too expensive. Everything. It's impossible. You know, <laughs> I talk with the software companies, and they say, "You go. We put out this amazing product, but people don't want to pay for it because it's too expensive." And Todd, I, I just threw a number. Don't, I don't think it's 40%. I just, we're going to lose some shops for sure. It's going to happen. Don't quote me on that. But you can't fight the fact that we're going to, some, some are going to, some, some are, are paycheck to paycheck. There are pawnbrokers who are living paycheck to paycheck and can't get through this. So with that said, Todd, thanks for calling me out. I appreciate that. I exaggerated a little bit there. I can take that on. I can take responsibility. I'll, I'll even put you on my screen right here, right? Because I can take that responsibility. I'm just I'm just so worked up. I'm just so worked up, guys. So in the chat box right now, I want you to write, what's the one part of your business that you need to work on now? What's the one part of your business that isn't working, hasn't been working for years? You know it. You've been lying to yourself but you've done nothing about it. What's that part of the business? Share that with all of us right now. Be courageous. What's that one part of the business that isn't working at the moment?
that you know that you need to improve. That you could be, you could think that you're the best of the best at it, but there's a part of it that just it's not working out. What is that? I would love to know. Because I think that there's things like culture and so Todd Ingram says software. So I'll post these up here. Manny says time off. Scott Sawyer says me. Scott, thanks for that honesty, brother. I love that. Because most of the time it's the leader. That's the truth. Most of the time it's the leader not planning. Most of the time it's the leader not being able to sit down and strategize. Forget going through something like this, just day-to-day operations. And guys, I've interviewed hundreds of the most successful pawnbrokers. And not just interviewing them. I've had some success myself, which I'm, I'm very, very proud of. What's that part of the business that isn't, what's that part that you've been lying to yourself? Do you have a pawn pirate who's showing up more than ever now that you haven't had them walk off the plank? And there's different areas, right, of your of your pawn shop that you can work on. You can work on the front end. You can work on, go look at your back room. How's the back room? Go look at your break room. If you have your team working right now and that microwave looks like crap, throw that thing out the window, get a new microwave. Get a new toaster oven. Get a new fridge. Do something. Make some type of a change. Because if you do nothing, you don't, doing nothing doesn't keep you on this line. Doing nothing does this. It makes the line go down. Right? That's what it does if you just do nothing. So with that said, if you want to reach out to me and, and, and chat and uh, you know maybe, maybe help you make a plan, I'm here for you. I'm going to drop a link uh, for a strategy call that uh, you can take some time and, and chat with me and, and um, help you through this. But don't stay quiet. Don't do what you've been doing and... And um, thanks for joining me. If you guys have anything else to say, I'm here for you. Listen to the podcast. Like so many people are like, oh, I'm so behind on the podcast. It's a free resource, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't want to pay for something and there's something there for free, then go use the free one, but use it. Like that's, that, that's the craziest thing to me, that people don't use it and it's free. Jump on the community calls. But at some point, you're going to have to invest in yourself and invest in your business above and beyond what you've been doing today. So thanks for hearing my rant. I've got a, a coaching call in, in a little bit here. But um, if you have any comments, let me know. I'm here to, to answer questions about my craziness. Um, Todd, again, thanks for calling me out on my exaggeration. <laughs> but uh, I got worked up there because it's from the heart, right? When you talk from the heart, and a lot of us don't talk from the heart anymore. You know, there's a difference between social disconnection or whatever they're calling it, social distancing, and physical distancing with emotional connection. You can social distance a whole different way. You can do it so that you're physically disconnected. You can distance yourself physically, but you can connect even more to your team and connect even more to your family, connect even more to yourself and to your community during these times. But if you don't do something, like if you don't pause, like think about it. Football players, baseball players, there's off seasons, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, but they're training, they're preparing, but they're not playing the game. Formula racers, they're lab, you know, racing, racing, racing. But they've got to go into a take, they've got to take a pit stop. They've got to take a they've got to take a break. And some of you are seven days a week just going pound for pound. Like if you want to go, you know, 25 rounds of boxing and you're getting knocked out, but you don't even know it. You're not taking care of yourselves. With that said, I'm gonna drink some water. If you're watching this, you have some water, drink some water.
So thanks for watching. We're going to have a community call this week again. And um, take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Take care of your teams. And uh, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.